Hello Pokemon Speed Beta, I'm Omar Arceus and welcome to my second upload to this channel. Uh, this is an RU battle I had against Suman14 or Su Project here on YouTube and um, it is a ripper, it is an absolutely fantastic battle. Um, it's one of those battles where at the end it's like huge mind games and predictions and all that sort of thing. But um, anyways, as you'll see in a minute, he brought uh, I think three NUs. Uh, he's the kind of guy who does that but he still puts up a good fight because he knows how to use those NUs. And they're not horrible enemies like the barrel and stuff. Um, as for my team, I brought a Claydol and five offensive guys because I was feeling lazy and I didn't really feel like team building. And Claydol can take hits um, on both sides anyway. So, um, he is going to lead with um, his Sork, as I'm going to lead with my Honchkrow. And obviously, I can't stay in because um, he can outspeed me and he can just take me out with the Stone Edge and probably the close combat as well. So I'm going to switch out uh, straight into my Claydol as he actually goes for the Stone Edge. And it doesn't do very much. And because he's a Sork, I'm pretty confident that he's Scarfed, um, as most Sorks tend to be. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up my Rocks, I believe. Um, not wanting to, uh, you know, try and predict and uh, break his Sturdy and, you know, all that sort of thing. And he's actually going to go into his Cryogonal. Um, now I was thinking he's probably going to spin out. Um, as in, as in spin the rocks away. And, um, so I'm going to switch out here, but he actually switches out into his Uxie. Um, which I found a little bit confusing because if he had spun his rocks away right then, then he could have preserved his Zorg Sturdy. But, um, I'm actually going to switch into my Glade, wanting to threaten out the Cryogonal. Um, but he's actually going to go for the Sunny Day. He's going to set up his Sun, and that is a big problem for me because he has a jump off and a Swords Buck, so I'm not really sure which one he's going to switch into. Um, but I figure I would rather Drain Punch predicting Swords Buck than um, Night Slash predicting jump off because it would be a lot better to get Swords Buck out of the way than jump off. So best case scenario, he switches into um, Swords Buck, and I nail him with the Drain Punch. But he goes into jump off. Uh, not a big deal because this Drain Punch still does a decent amount to it. So now I'm a little bit worried about what Jumpluff wants to do. I've never really come across a Jumpluff before and I just have a feeling it's going to be like a Subseed or something, but it's on a really low amount of HP so I figure I can Shadow Sneak, um, make it um, unable to set up a Substitute because of how low HP it's on. And it goes for Sleep Powder and that has me a little bit worried. But now I'm predicting him to actually go into Source Buck to take the Shadow Sneak and maybe save Jumpluff. Um, and spin the rocks away and get it in safely and all that sort of thing because he might have synthesis or I don't know and he might be able to save it so I'm actually going to go for Drain Punch predicting Source Buck to come in but he takes me out with an Acrobatics uh, which tells me he's probably just fully offensive um, no subseeding, no none of that um, shenanigans so I'm going to go into my Honchkrow and go for the Sucker Punch but he actually predicts that really nicely and goes for the Sleep Powder which was really stupid on my part I do admit that because um, he went for Sleep Powder like two turns ago and I just totally forgot about it but here he's going to Sword Stance I don't want to switch out, I just want to keep my Honchko and try and wake him up as soon as possible. Um, I actually went for the Substitute here just for kicks because um, I didn't want him to know that I was going for Sucker Punch. Here I wake up, go for the Sucker Punch and take him out. That's really unfortunate for him because I was only asleep for one turn. And um, now I'm getting my Moxie Boost. So he's in a bit of a pickle right now. Uh, he's actually going to go right back into Uxie. I'm um, thinking he can take a hit. So I'm just going to go for the Night Slash and that takes it out in one shot because I am at plus one attack and I am max attack. I think he really just wanted to set up his Sun again, um, but unfortunately that's not going to work out because I am going to take him out in one hit. Um, so now Sun is gone forever, I'm pretty sure. I don't think he has another um, Sunny Day user. So he's going to send in his Source Buck now and I don't want to, uh, I don't want for him to be outspeeding me and taking me out with a Jump Kick. But I don't want to be predicting Sucker Punch if he Sword Stances, that sort of thing. So, what I could have done is stayed in there and Sucker Punched all day, but I didn't really want to do that. So I'm going to switch into my Moltres right now, as he goes for a Sword Stance. Uh, both of my stabs are super effective, so I'm thinking, if I just go for an Air Slash, it'll probably take it out, I think. So I'm just going to go for the Air Slash over Fire Blast, just because it's more accurate. And wouldn't you know it, I miss. That is just ridiculous. Um, he's going to take me out with the Double Edge now. That plus two double edge, it's stab, it's gonna wreck uh, anything on my team that wants to switch in on it. Um, I know my Moltres has an even amount of HP. I should probably fix that, I should probably change it to 321. But anyway, um, not the point. <laughs> um, so now, I need to bring in something that outspeeds it and can take it out in one shot, otherwise it's just gonna wreak havoc. So I'm gonna bring in my Medicham, go for the high jump kick, and pray that it doesn't miss like Air Slash did. And 
I hit, which is good. So, I managed to take out the source bug. That's a pretty big threat out of the way. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but it's still very, very strong. So, um, he's in a bit of trouble. He's going to send in my, his sork. My sork? He's going to send in his sork. Wow. And go for the close combat. Um, probably predicting a switch. I'm not really sure. But I think Earthquake would have probably taken me out. Um, or done at least a very, very large amount of damage. But I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. And I think that takes out this sork as well. Yeah, so his sork is down. Um, Medicham doing work here with this Scarf High Jump Kick. Does not play games. Anyways, he's going to send in his Typhlosion now. I don't want anything to take an Eruption or a Fire Blast. So I'm going to keep Medicham in as Death Fodder. And he does go for the Eruption and does take me out. Even at 3 quarter health, uh, Eruption has over 110 base power. So, um, because of Accuracy's sake, it is, uh, I guess, better then Fire Blast, um, if you want to think about it that way, it's 100% accurate. Um, so I'm going to switch into Claydol, predict him to predict the Earth Power. So I'm going to double switch into Skeptile, predicting him to switch to Cryogonal. But he just stays in the kids going for Eruption. That's going to take out my Skeptile, and that's uh, that's a bit disappointing for me, because it's a pretty cool set. Um, Jeremy Lin, I don't even know why I named it that. I ignore that. <laughs> but I'm just going to switch back into Claydol now. I only have Claydol and Honchkrow left. He's only got Typhlosion and Cryogonal left. Uh, and I know he's going to keep going for Eruption now, so I'm just going to keep going for Earth Power. Um, because there's no reason not to. Um, well, there is a reason not to. He could switch into Cryogonal, but um, if he does do that, I'm not too worried because um, I figure, I think I can get myself out of this one. Anyways, Earth Power doesn't take him out. Uh, he's going to have to keep going for another Eruption. Uh, but it does very, very little damage because of the fact that he's on very low HP. Um, I think it does about 20 damage or something like that. It doesn't even take me down below half. That was, I think, 10 damage. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. But I'm just going to take him out with another Earth Power now. And all he's got left is Cryogonal. And um, I'm going to have to fodder out my Claydol because I don't want to switch it on an Ice Beam on Hunchcrow and lose it because then I'll lose the game. Hunchcrow is my only chance of beating this Cryogonal. So he's going to send it in. Um, I have Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Rapid Spin as my three attacking moves. And I figured... Rapid Spin would be the strongest move because of Cryogonal's poor defenses but high special defenses and its resistance to ice. So I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin over the Ice Beam here. Um, and looking at that, it actually might have done more damage. I don't know. I went for an Ice Beam the second turn. Just to see. But um, he takes me out. Um, obviously, he was going to take me out. So this is where things get interesting. Because I have Honchkrow left, and he has Cryogonal. He's base, I think, 105 speed, maybe base 100, something like that. And I'm base 71, so I'm thinking he outspeeds me. Uh, which is why I go for the Sucker Punch first turn, predicting him to Ice Beam. Um, which um, he predicts and goes for the Toxic. So that's a good move on his part. And now I'm thinking maybe he's going to recover Stall me. Um, maybe I should not go for Sucker Punch. Should I Superpower? Should I Sub? I don't know. I decided to Sub, predicting him to recover. Um, and this, this turn alone took forever, because we were both predicting what each other was going to do. But I actually outspeed him. Uh, because I max speed Jolly, I have about 20 more speed than uh, a Kragunit with no speed investment. So, uh, actually, uh, I know I can take him out with a superpower now, and that is going to be the game. So I know it doesn't look that intense uh, watching it, but actually that those two or three turns were, were really... Really well thought out by the both of us. And unfortunately for him, I was actually faster than him. If I wasn't faster, I would have lost right there because I set up a sub instead of going for Sucker Punch. Um, but anyways, that's going to be the game. So good game, Suman. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Please uh, rate, subscribe to the Pokemon Watch for Beta. Check out my channel. Check out my opponent's channel. Leave a comment. I do read all the feedback that is posted in this. Um, so thank you all, and I'll see you next time.